You know when you get a feeling that um, you've totally lost your brain, cells, cell, singular. Um, yeah, I've probably just done that, guys. If you've been following the last couple of videos, you will, I think now get a bit of an insight into, into the way that my weird and wonderful brain works in respect of, um, uh, I suppose trying to talk me as, well yeah, trying to talk myself out of buying something and spending and, you know, arguably wasting a shed load of cash. And then, actually going back on what I've just previously said and ended up spending a shed load of cash. So this video is about something that I said I probably wouldn't uh, buy or I wouldn't go down this route and it is concerning 4K screens and HDR compatible screens. I went to that last week and was it last week? Yes it was last week, back end of last week. I, I, I actually went out and I bought a Samsung KS7500 screen, which is a UHD 4K HDR set. Christ, that sounds really awesome, doesn't it? It's, it's worth spending the money just to say you've got one of them. I don't, I don't know what it does, but it just sounds awesome. Uh, um, I've done a fair bit of uh, research on on what's available at the moment in respect of of both 4K and and HDR um, uh, screens, and Samsung appear to have the the least lag, uh, gaming lag, or or gaming lag. Is, is it? No, it's just lag, isn't it? Uh, the least amount of lag on their screens uh, compared to a lot of the other models that are out there. And, and this specific set, even though it was reviewed earlier on this year, around springtime uh, when it came out in 2016, it... Uh, whilst it had HDR on that, and I'll sort of go into this slightly more, I won't go into a massive amount of detail about it because you'll get bored of it, but but um, in HDR mode, there was a massive amount of lag, uh, input lag. Not input lag, you twat. You felt input lag. It was because of the processing lag on the screen. And it was measured at something like 112, 115 milliseconds, which is pretty huge to be fair. Since the release of this TV, there has been a firmware update, and and the version I've got has got the latest firmware on it, and it reduces it down even in in HDR mode, which previously gave all this and this processing lag. It's been reduced down to 21 milliseconds, which is actually pretty awesome for a screen full stop, let alone a screen that's got HDR on it. Now it's a 43 inch screen, the reason why it's so small is because it is going on the gaming rig next door and I will show you that, I will take the video camera next door, we'll have a quick look at the screen and so forth, um, uh, but unfortunately the best bit about the screen I can't show you. I can't get over to you on a YouTube video the, uh, the quality of it, uh, the way HDR looks, um, so uh, you're gonna have to uh, you're gonna have to accept my subjective views on that uh, it's going to be talking rather than actually showing you stuff because you won't be able to pick it up on on youtube because of the encoding methods hdr which is high high dynamic range high dynamic range yes high dynamic range and what that is to do with is the color that the range on 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 any other a TV set that isn't HDR, um, they have a a narrower um, a colour range. I'd never seen HDR in the flesh, I didn't know what the hell it was going to do. I've been doing a lot of reading up on the internet and everyone says actually HDR uh, makes a bigger impact than what uh, the jump from 1080p to 4K does. So I'm thinking, ooh. And I was hearing that more than once. That wasn't just one person saying that. There was multiple people saying that it's a bigger thing than the actual resolution jump. 
So I thought, oh, sorry, I'll just get a screen and do both of them, you know? <laughs> let's just go for it big style. And let's go for absolute disappointment when it all goes tits up. First set the uh, set the screen up. And, and, and sorry, just to go back on that, um, you have to have a source of HDR uh, compatible. Now at the moment, the only things that HDR that you can get right now uh, are videos that, um, oh, well, say, well, yeah, yeah, videos you can download off the internet uh, in respect to demos, but they'll only work properly on a HDR screen, obviously. I'm not sure whether or not HDR is out on things like Netflix. I'm not sure about that, so I won't make a statement about that. I don't think it is, but I could be wrong. I don't think it is, but I could be wrong. HDR uh, content is available on the latest Blu-ray uh, medium, the the uh, the UHD uh, Blu-rays, which are 4K Blu-rays. Uh, but of course, you need a 4K Blu-ray player uh, to play those, and you need the appropriate films, uh, which aren't normal Blu-ray. They're the next bit up, and uh, the next uh, specification up. So it can, it, it can tend to start to get fairly expensive. Uh, the only uh, gaming console that's HDR uh, capable at the moment is the Xbox One S. And of course, I didn't have an Xbox One S. Now I say I didn't, I have now. I had to go out and buy an Xbox One S. So I've just bought one of those as well, a new, a new console. Didn't need it for any other reason other than trying this HDR thing. And of course, getting access to the UHD Blu-rays. So when I set it all up and and I, I played uh, Forza Horizon 3 on it. Now I'd obviously played it on the previous screen. So it wasn't HDR and it was in 1080p with the uh, with the xbox one s plugged into 4k monitor it upscales it so you're not going to get any better resolution but i suppose i was sort of expecting more initially i plugged it in and set it up and i thought oh yeah yeah that looks all right yeah i don't know what i was expecting from the hdr i was expecting it to blow me brains i suppose if i'm being honest but but it didn't it didn't blow me i thought crap this is a pile of wank i'm going to do a video i'm going to tell people don't bother it's crap or it's not worth it however however spending more time on it it helps if you calibrate the screen you need to properly or appropriately calibrate the screen for hdr that made a massive difference it really did um and on the Xbox, you can actually actually swap out from HDR mode uh, back to normal uh, color mode, and then play the game again, or keep playing the game, and then and then change it back. So you can see the same scene between the two versions, and it makes quite a big difference, to be honest. It really does. The the um, and the advantages of having a a wider colour range is that you see a lot more gradation uh, in colours. Uh, if you've got some behind you and it's not in HDR mode, then and then a lot of stuff can look uh, oversaturated, but you don't notice that until you see it in HDR. When you see it in HDR, you see that much more detail. I mean, you really do. And it looks so much more lifelike than what it does in non HDR. That's one of the biggest differences. I'm really pleased with that, and I actually downloaded some footage as well, some uh, some of Samsung's uh, demo material uh, onto a memory stick and plugged it into the back of the TV. And I've actually got one thing that's filmed uh, that's not in HDR, and the same scene it is in HDR, and you're playing back to back, and the difference is marked. I mean, it really is. And the HDR one looks it. it it looks stunning. It looks absolutely stunning. You, you know, it's got sunsets on there and, and, and the amount of detail you can see. I really am suitably impressive with HDR. Now, because it's on the gaming rig, I have it connected up to my PC as well. And I've never tried 4K gaming on my PC. I tried, what did I try? I tried, oh yeah, yeah. Tried Forza Horizon 3 because I've got a digital download version as well. So I can play it on my PC as well as play it on my Xbox One. And I've cranked everything up to 4K. Cranked everything up. I've cranked the resolution up to 4K on that. And um, 
and done all the other settings as ultra uh, but I've clipped the frame rate at 30 frames a second which is the same as the Xbox One version and it looks absolutely stunning it's not HDR yet uh, they haven't done any HDR stuff for the PC yet I believe but but at 4k it, it, it is fantastic it is absolutely fantastic and that jump on resolution on the PC especially being that close it, it is absolutely stunning it really is overall there's the jump for me because obviously I'm coming from 1080p so I'm going to 4k I'm going to a curved screen which looks great it really does um, and HDR it's a massive step for me and and I'm really impressed. The actual screen quality itself, the way the blacks are, even though it's still LED or LCD or whatever, it's not, um, it's not OLED. Uh, it it looks absolutely stunning. It really does. Uh, something else I did try last night was was the was the UHD Blu-ray drive on the Xbox One S with a HDR film, um, a Batman versus Superman. I haven't seen that yet, or I hadn't seen it up to the point of of having a look at the 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 uh, the blu-ray last night and and that looks stunning it really does it really does look stunning and like i said that's got hdr coding on it but but the quality of the colors up it, it it really is it it's it's absolutely the next level you know of 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 um of detail and of course you combine that with 4k anyway so you've got the increased resolution um and you've also got the better details available now because it's running in HDR and, and it, it it really does look so much more lifelike. It, it is pretty stunning to be honest. So I just thought I'd give you an update about that. And of course tomorrow I've got the PlayStation VR turning up. Uh, tomorrow uh, is release day. Um, so there will undoubtedly be another video coming up fairly soon about that. Hope you enjoyed the video guys and I'll speak to you again soon. Right, so we'll have a quick squiz at the screen. Uh, so this is obviously all mounted up to the old driving rig. Uh, but you could probably see from there that the screen's curved. If I just come around a bit you can see that. Right, so there we've got the Xbox One S. I won't go into too much detail about it. I'm sure you've all uh, seen those. Uh, got quite a nice uh, funky white controller there so right so this is from my viewing distance and even in the in the uh, viewfinder it is effectively filling up the whole of the viewfinder it, it, it is pretty big to be fair uh, sitting this close to a 43 inch monitor uh, so what I did want to show you actually let's just turn the input over to PC um, there. Right, so what I've done, I've switched onto the PC and I've changed the scaling to 100%. Uh, so this is a one to one scaling at 4K. And obviously, I don't. I don't normally have it at this scale, I've normally got a 200 so cents. it's still 4K but I'll bring the scaling up. Uh, but I just wanted to show you something on this screen, uh, considering it's a TV, if you look at the clarity of the characters, or the pixels, there's no blurring, there's no ghosting, it, it, it is so clear as a monitor, um, uh, considering it's a TV, it's got this, is it 4 4 by 4 by 4 by 4 ratio or something where it it's it, it does some funky thing on the on the conversion or or lack of processing actually on a on a PC input um, and it makes it that clear but for a TV to be that clear it it is pretty immense to be honest so clear so clear really good as a PC monitor now obviously that's pretty useless to have it like that, so I'll just change the scaling in Windows to 200% and I'll show you what it looks like at 200%. Right, so this is back uh, to 200% scaling, which is what I have it set at. Uh, it's still 4K, but everything's basically upscaled. But um, it's still so clear, look, even with the scaling, uh, the Windows scaling. And again, like I said, there's no, there's no ghost in there. 
and you can see every single pixel that's how clear this screen is on the PC input it is, it is absolutely tremendous it really is right again you're not going to be able to see this in respect of what I can see in my eyes but this is Forza uh, Horizon 3 running HDR mode like I said pretty useless showing you this guys because you can't uh, you can't see what I can see unfortunately I wish you could but it, it's uh, but even though it as a uh, as a screen for the Xbox it, it is pretty outstanding to be honest Then the blacks are nice and deep. Uh, the contrast ratio, anyway, is, is really nice. It does. It looks uh, looks outstanding. I mean, this game, guys. If it, if you've got an Xbox One and you haven't seen Forza Horizon 3, it is absolutely mint. It really is good. Amazing looking game. Uh, looks even better in HDR.